how to set up a JVA Wi-Fi gateway. Your first step would be to remove your power from your energizer. Your second step is to push and hold your button on your Wi-Fi gateway in. You then, in the third step, put your power back on and count for 10 seconds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. After that, your JVA Wi-Fi gateway has now been defaulted. Your next step would be to go to your phone and select your Wi-Fi network turn it on and then look for your JVA Wi-Fi gateway. You will then find in your available networks Nimbus gateway with the matching serial number on here that's on your actual card, which is 463470 for this exercise. I'm gonna click on that Nimbus gateway to connect to it. And it's gonna say, checking the quality of your internet connection. Once it's connected, it's gonna show me here that it's connected and it's gonna say internet may not be available. That is fine for this exercise. I'm gonna say allow to connect to it and it's now connected without internet. That is not a problem because our next step that we're gonna do is to go into Chrome web browser and from there we're gonna type in the IP address to log into this card, which in this case is always 192.168.4.1. I'm going to click enter. As you can see now, it's brought up the JBA screen with Wi-Fi settings. It's got my serial number there. I'm going to select there and select my correct Wi-Fi network to connect to, which is called Staffix Training. I've already copied the password and that's been um, in the clipboard. So I'm going to paste the password and click save. As you can see, it's doing the test of the settings. It's first doing a Wi-Fi settings, that's correct. Wi-Fi connected, correct. It's on port 1885, and it's now looking for a connection to the server, as well as to see if the system is running. Once it's connected to the server, and the system is running, we'll be able to go to the next step. Okay, it has completed all those ticks, and I can click on, the, on next. And the test is completed, and I've successfully told my JVA Wi-Fi gateway to which network it needs to connect to. My next step from here on out would be to go to the registration process.